with a new custom paint project. I picked up off RC Planet a 2009 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I'm going to be putting this on my SDX 10. Uh, I just wanted something different, something new, so I'm going to show you some more um, paint techniques and whatnot for you. I also picked up off RC Planet a metal luggage rack. It comes with four LED lights. I got some new scissors the, for the uh, body and a body reamer so I can put all my holes in it for the body mounts and of course for the luggage rack. Um, I also have my paints that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to be doing black for the top of course just like I did with Old Big Blue. Then for the main body it's going to be sparkly and hot pink and I'm going to throw in some designs in there. Um, not too sure what yet, but you will find out soon. And then, to do everything, I'm going to use my liquid masking tape. Much better than actual masking tape. I can cut things and make it much clearer. And then, something else I picked up off RC Planet is little mini bungee cords for my luggage rack. That way, all my things will stay in place and not fall out. Okay, so step one to the custom paint project is to trim all this excess plastic off around your body, just the bottom part, all that. Then once that is done, I can go ahead and fit it on to whatever chassis that you're going to be using. In my case is going to be the SCX-10. Then from there, I can go ahead and see exactly how it's going to fit on the body and mark off the places for the body now. Okay, so I finished cutting my body. I went ahead and just cut the whole thing out to the way I want it. And I went ahead and just cut off the rear bumper and the front bumper. Um, for one, on Old Big Blue, it kept rubbing against tires, so it was kind of pointless to have them on there for the uh, rock crawling I do. And I'm going to buy better, stronger metal ones. So I cut mine completely out like this. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and put it on my chassis, and I'm going to make sure it's all lined up, make sure I have it perfectly even and straight on there. Okay. Now that it's exactly where I want it, make sure that back is straight as well. I'm gonna have, gonna go ahead and do a little dot right on top of those body mounts where I'm gonna put my holes. Again, just make sure it's perfectly straight. All right, so that's for my body mount. And then I'm going to use the body reamer, obviously, once I've got it all done, to put my holes in. Then I need to mark where the holes for the luggage rack are going to be. I'm just going to take this off. Move that to the side. Are right here. I need to make sure I have room. So I'm going to bring this forward. Obviously, I can't bring it completely forward. So, right about there, where it's almost to the very edge of the hood. Uh, it still gives me plenty of space. That's pretty darn even right there. So, and I'm going to make my marks on top of the body. Because if I do it underneath, then it's just going to ruin everything. I can't really get rid of it once it's underneath. Just kind 
kind of just eyeballing it. Use your best judgment there. It's not that easy to do this way, but it works. And again, I'm going to be using my body reamer to draw out the holes for my mounting posts and for the uh, luggage rack. Okay, so this is what my new custom Jeep is going to look like once it's all mounted. Got everything in there. So I didn't make the holes very big. You don't want them to be too big. With your body uh, reamer, you can make the holes any size you want, obviously. It goes by the width of the blade. Don't make them too loose or it rattles around a lot, but you want them to be big enough to put everything through. So now my next step is I'm going to go ahead and draw on the outside of my body. Um, just kind of mark off the lines of what I'm going to have black and what's going to be pink and then come up with a design to put on it. Okay, so I went ahead and marked out where I want my colors and what color on my body. So now I know exactly where to put everything on the inside once I've liquid masked it. And then I can paint it. So my next step after this is to go ahead and wash the body. I'm going to use lukewarm water with a little bit of dish soap and just use my hands and really wash the inside of this. Okay, so to wash your body, use lukewarm water and some dish soap. Place where it's not going to get any hair or any debris in it, let that air dry. Once it's completely air dry, I'll go ahead and move on to the next step, which is liquid mask tape. Okay, so now that my body is completely dry on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, window stickers on. And when I do this, I want to be careful not to touch the inside of the body because I washed it and I don't want to get uh, oils in there from my fingerprints. But I want to make sure my window stickers are on there nice and tight and sealed in all the corners or else when I start painting it's going to leak through. Even though I am going to do liquid masking tape on the inside over the windows, I just want to make sure everything is completely sealed and have nice clean lines. Okay, so I went ahead and did my window stickers. Made sure they were pressed down there. Try to get all the bubbles out as uh, best as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my liquid masking tape. Make sure it's shook up real good. Alright. Make sure you have a lot on your brush. to 
do my first layer a little thicker than most people. You can do a thin layer, up to you. And the stuff dries pretty quick, depending on how thick it is. And once it starts to dry, it's going to start um, pulling up with your brush. So you want to work kind of quick with it. Now on this Jeep body, there's these little indents for the door handles that kind of uh, dips in. So just make sure it doesn't really um, get a lot of liquid mass in there where it pulls up. That's just going to take forever to dry and it won't dry properly. So if there's a lot of liquid mask in those little corners or your little dense areas for like door handles or whatnot. Just go ahead and take your brush over it again. Pick up some of that. Now that the first layer is applied, I'm going to let that dry completely. I'm not going to do the second coat until it's 100% dry or else it's going to ruin everything. Um, you'll know when it's dry, it'll get clear. And if you want to speed up the drying process, you can take a blow dryer on cool setting and do it that way or just let it air dry. Um, it could take up to 30 minutes for it to fully dry. It just depends on how thick your layer was, your first layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my final layer with my masking tape or my sheet. This is gonna make uh, three layers total. is my final layer of liquid masking tape. So I'm going to let it dry overnight to make sure everything is completely 100% dry. Once that's done, I'm going to go through and use the X-Acto knife and cut out what colors I'm going to do first. And with the paint, you want to start with your darkest color first. Okay, so my liquid mask tape is completely dry, so I went ahead and cut out with the um, X-Acto knife. I cut out my first color, which is going to be black. It's going to be my darkest color, so you can see it's all clear. 
where there's no liquid masking tape compared to the liquid masking tape. So now that that's all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and go put on my first layer of paint, and it's going to be a thin layer.